I'm Jo Breen and welcome to Morningstar. Uh, this is going to be um, Peter and I's home for probably the next 45 or so days. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of how we've got the boat ready um, for our big mission to Osaka. So first of all, water. We don't have a water maker on board. We're carrying all of our water. Um, we're taking 400 litres and we're pretty confident that will be enough um, with the additional rainwater that we hope to catch as well. So in Morningstar, we have one big integral tank here which holds 200 litres. We've also got 100 litres um, in this side which is under these berths here. Um, we are also carrying an additional 100 litres in uh, these bottles and some one and a half litre bottles as well. So it gives us plenty of backups if we have one tank uh, fail, if any of our plumbing fails. We've still got another one plus our emergency water as well. Fuel is the other big issue for us. Our boat's tank only holds 90 litres. Um, in total we're going to carry uh, about 220 litres of diesel because the engine is one of our main forms of power generation on board. So you can see our little system here of, of Lash jerry cans. Um, I know it's, it's a bit unpopular to have uh, jerry cans lashed inside the boat, but for us it's getting the weight in the right place. Um, they're actually not full yet, we're doing our, our fueling up tomorrow and we will then be doing our final job of, of lashing them in fully. So food, carrying enough food for 45 days is a bit of a mission. We've provisioned to eat quite well for 45 days but to also be able to eat um, for an additional uh, 20 days just in case. So here on Morningstar, we're quite lucky that we're not a fully stripped out race boat and we do have a, a nice bit of storage space. We've got some of our meals in these cupboards. First ones I'll show you are our self-heating meals. These things are absolutely fantastic. We don't even have to light the metho stove to, to cook these, they cook themselves. So we were really fortunate to have uh, Rod Jones come on board to help us organise these and to get our nutrition right. So these are really nifty, it's a little in, internal bag there that you pop some water in, um, the water reacts with something in the bag and cooks the meal. They're absolutely fantastic, we tried them out on the west coast race and um, yeah it kept our energy levels up through some big, uh, big wind and wave down the bottom. We've also got some freeze dried uh, mitts meals, really high protein. Um, these are going to hopefully keep us from losing too much muscle on the trip. Um, we've got a, a good supply of these as well that we can mix in with our rice or pasta. Some other bits and bobs that we've got. We love these and we've got a lot of them. Little fruit snacks. Um, they're going to be my breakfast a lot of the time. Um, we've also got some uh, tinned vegetables, tinned meats, stuff like that. The other thing that we've done is put together a big snack bag. This is my favourite bag. <laughs> this is where all of our cup of soups, muesli bars, nuts, protein bars, oat bars, everything like that lives. It's all in little individual bags so we can just grab a snack pack, get back on deck and keep racing. Our other bag is our staples bag. So we've got all our rice, our pasta, um, a nice big supply of peanut butter because that's one of my favourites in there, <laughs> all ready to go. Um, I think it's really important to have the boat organised in a way where you can just grab stuff. It's not a big mission trying to trying to find where you've hidden everything. Um, so we're pretty happy with how this is all set up for the race. Mm -hmm.